ranked all of Zac Efron's movies. You're welcome. The time has come to celebrate the patron saint of ABS, Zac Efron. One of our favorite millennial heartthrobs turns 37 on October 18th which means two things. 1. Yes time just slapped us all in the face. 2. A rewatch of a favorite movie starring Efron is in order. But which one to choose? Of course you can pick from his repertoire of musical moments like Hairspray or The Greatest Showman. Or perhaps you'd rather go with High School Musical 3 or 17 again both of which highlight his physical prowess. Then again his comedic chops are on full display in Neighbors and Dirty Grandpa. Range thy name is Zachary David Alexander Efron. Trying to decide which Efron movie is the best sparked a conversation that incited a friendly yet fierce debate in the E. News offices. The takes were hotter than the man himself without his shirt on which you know we feature just maybe once or twice on our Instagram account. You're welcome by the way. And so we decided to do what any sane person with a 401k would do, we ranked all of his feature film outings. For the record the man himself ranks his most recent effort the June rom-com A Family Affair as one of his fave filmmaking experience. I got to play like the worst version of somebody experiencing fame and sort of the fear and the imposter syndrome that comes with that he told Vanity Fair of portraying a movie star who hooks up with the mom, Nicole Kidman, of his personal assistant, Joey King. On the one hand I'm still like starstruck every time I see her he added of his physical scenes with Kidman. Even to this day. I really just am in a sense just always going to be in permanent awe of her. I don't know I've got a deep trust and like respect for her that I think just makes it fun. Similarly we were up to the task of sifting through Efren's film over to pull out some of the highlights. Yes it was a tough job but someone had to do it. Here's our official ranking of every Efren movie from worst to best. Sorry for reminding you that this 2015 movie about Efren as a DJ exists. Firestarter. While this may be a remake of the 1984 horror movie getting to see Efren play a dad for the first time was a dream come true for many geriatric millennials who doodled Mrs. Efren on their notebooks in school. Unfortunately seeing that fantasy come to fruition did not a good film make. Listen this should have been our dream Baywatch given how he basically spends the whole movie shirtless and it's literally for the storyline of it all. But while we expected this 2017 summer flick to be a romp it was more of a womp womp. Still we'll always have those ABS. A surefire way to try and get young people to spend their babysitting money on a festival movie about the director of Citizen Kane. Cast Efren in the lead role. Alas the 2008 period drama only made 2.3 million dollars but did earn the young actor some indie cred in his post Disney days. Gold. Critics commended Efren's committed performance in this dystopian action thriller but sadly it failed to strike its namesake with audiences. Also spoiler alert, our man gets eaten by a pack of wild dogs. Rough. The greatest beer run ever. In a pretty much true 2022 story that sounds unbelievable a 60s era Efren dons a sweet stash and plays a merchant mariner that treks around the world to deliver American beers to his buddies fighting in Vietnam. Sure it's a somewhat ludicrous premise but Efren still charms. While we initially RSVP'd no to this forgettable 2016 comedy we are kind of okay crashing it from time to time. Given that it starred Efren Michael B. Jordan and Miles Teller we had high hopes for this 2014 comedy. But it ended up being kind of meh and was the one that kicked off a string of, the previously ranked, bro Y roles for the star on the heels of his celebrated turn in Neighbors. At least it was the least bad of that frat pack. Ricky Stanicky. A fun romp that didn't get the appreciation it deserved this 2024 comedy is an enjoyable watch. A pretty solid love story for our boy as well. However the flick is really a star vehicle for John Cena with Efren providing a deft turn as supporting actor. A family affair. Efren goes meta as a satirical version of himself in this 2024 Netflix rom-com about a movie star who hooks up with his assistant's mom. While his chemistry with Kidman feels a bit forced he and Joey King have a fun celebrity assistant dynamic. 
We've done a lot of things in the name of our love for this man but seeing this kinda weird 2010 drama ranks pretty high on the list. Efren and Nicholas Sparks finally merged their respective powers in this 2012 romantic drama. We saw this movie in theaters and yet are struggling to remember fully what it was about. That shower scene though. That we remember very well. Our man who also served as an executive producer delivered a very good very charming very creepy performance as the infamous serial killer Ted Bundy. But overall this 2019 Netflix drama failed to make as much of an impact as we thought it would when the project was first announced and feels a little too lifetime movie of the week. Efren experienced a career adrenaline shot thanks to Seth Rogen with this 2014 comedy. Playing a fraternity president the actor utilized his underrated comedic chops charisma and chiseled ABS going on to steal almost every scene he was in. His performance in the 2016 sequel was equally as commanding. In his first major movie following his breakout success with high school musical Efren took on another singing role in the 2007 remake of Hairspray playing teen heartthrob Link Larkin. Casting was perfect and we'll never forget his Link Wink. The Greatest Showman After a decade-long drought Efren finally returned to the world of the movie musical in 2017's The Greatest Showman and what a comeback it was. Just skip to 343 on The Greatest Show from the soundtrack if you want to feel your life change. And yes that is in fact exactly when Efren takes over lead vocals from Hugh Jackman on the song. Plus his chemistry with Zendaya. This is The Greatest Showman's. At our funeral feel free to press play on the scene in which a pitch-perfect Efren playing a younger version of Matthew Perry's character reads the letter to Scarlett, Leslie Mann, in this 2009 rom-com. The Iron Claw While in the end Efren didn't nab the speculated Oscar nod he was certainly gripping in this 2023 drama depicting the tragic but true story of the Von Erich family and their quest to solidify their professional wrestling empire. Even amongst a star-studded cast his gritty portrayal of Kevin Von Erich is notable for way more than just his body transformation and proves just how underappreciated his range as an actor is. Before you yell louder than Sharpay Evans after discovering she landed a supporting role the first two installments technically qualify as TV movies so only 2000 and SIXSHSM3 made our list. But oh what a performance it is from Efren in his final outing as Troy Bolt in the role that made him the gold standard of millennial heart throbs. Thank you for watching. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and don't forget to be respectful. You can join our channel and support us with the join button. We wish you healthy and happy days.